Hello everybody, Spider here, Commission Podcast, of course, once again, San Antonio, Texas, we are here at the Wonderland of the Americas, Jamie McGuire, of course, you are here, man, and uh, tell us, is this your first time here in San Antonio? Yes, this is my first time in Texas, actually. Oh, really? Okay, cool, man, and where about are you coming from? I'm actually coming from Canada. My man, okay, so yeah, quite a trip. I mean, how was your, how was your trip coming out here? The trip was good. Pretty long, don't get me wrong, but well worth it. You know, got Texas sunshine, I've met a lot of great people here, and no. I'm just glad to be part of this whole experience, I'm not going to lie. So, no, for sure. And uh, when has it, been awesome. Yes, yes. When it comes to uh, conventions, I mean, how, how long have you been doing this? Uh, this, is actually, probably, this is actually the first one I've done. Yeah. Really? Yeah, first one doing this. And oh, okay. Yep, yeah, so first convention, first time in Texas. It's, right. This has just been great, and I'm... I'm just great to have met so many wonderful people from different places and to be working with them too. It's just been awesome. Sweet, it's man. No, and, and of course, I mean, when it comes to film, because you've been on TV series, man, you've been in movies, uh, how did all that come about? I mean, were you uh, brought into the film industry through family? Uh, no, actually, I started film school a few, uh, about 10 or so years ago. Did a program in Toronto, right. graduated from there, and just um, started films here and there. Like then that. back in 2021, I saw on a website that I could apply for from, and then sure enough, I just clicked on it, clicked her role, then we that just, was it. sure enough, her, her role was just to be a nightmare creature, and then one night I was given direction, uh, just walk slow and be creepy, so <laughs> the, the only thing, the only, best way I could find out to be creepy was yeah. just, you know, just have a big grin, walk slow, and then Done. I wanted to join the uh, Facebook group from Facebook groups right. just to see how the show was going and sure enough a lot of people were freaking out of some guy who just had like a really big just started scaring people and yes. I noticed it was my face that was scaring people and then someone on the group just gave me the nickname Smiley and it stuck that, and I was going to say too because you did, uh, your, your smile does come across very well man and I will say this going with the whole creeping out people you have that smile where it's like if you come up to me and you're friendly, I'm, I, I'm like, okay, how you doing? But then I'm kind of like, okay, who, who is that guy? You know, you kind of give that uh, second guess. But but of course, man, I mean, um, when it comes to filming, I mean, how has the experience been for you? The experience of this whole thing has been awesome. You know, I've had a great cast and crew, and honestly, it's been nothing but fun. Yes. The entire time. Like, I, I have nothing but great things to say about the show, about the oh. cast and crew, and I just can't believe I got to meet all the people that I did and whether I'm in full on makeup yeah. just makeup alone a smiley or like full on aesthetics or like nails it's just been awesome and, and of course I, I mean nothing but great stories to say about it no and, and I was going to say I mean when um, when you're out there and you're meeting all these great actors man I mean do you get starstruck or are you kind of like okay you know what I'm, I'm just working when I first met when I first met the main cast of the series I was completely in awe. I was like, I can't believe they're introducing themselves to me because I was so shy at first about meeting these people. Yeah. Just like Because I didn't want to go up and bother them or in right. case they were working on lines or anything, I didn't want to bother them. Then when I find out, then for the first time when they started approaching me, I couldn't believe it. So like on the, so like on the surface, I'm completely calm, just yeah. casual. I nice to meet you. Then afterwards, I get home after a great day. I'm just, yeah. oh my God, this actually happened. I can't believe this. <laughs> so awesome man you see and, and it's crazy how that works because uh for yourself i mean was acting always part of something you wanted to do or was it something that just kind of popped up and you're like you know what let me see what this is about you know as a kid ever since i was a kid i couldn't see myself doing anything else nice, man. i have great respect for everyone and yeah. professions that they do i always say do what you love you never work a day in your life since I started this industry, and I gotta tell you, this has so far been my biggest and favorite role. Sweet, this whole man. thing has been just thrilling. It's like, you know, long travel, jet lag, long hours of working, well worth it. That's all I gotta say. It's a small price to pay for doing what you love and meeting such great people. No, and I was gonna say too, because a lot of times when you guys are working, you're filming, I mean, you can't go out and do this. So when you get those little breaks and you can actually come and meet your fans, that's actually a plus, right? Yeah, yeah no, I can't believe. Uh, I can't believe I'm here doing all this and I'm meeting such wonderful fans and Sweet, man. And, that, and I'm glad that quite a few people know of the series from where yes. it's relatively new compared to say most big hits with movies and TV shows so people come up and just say they're a fan of the show, they like the work I do, they like the work everyone does. I yes. just, I mean, I just love it. I just say thank you and I'm so grateful that fans are out there supporting the show. And, and I'm 
grateful for this whole experience and that I've got to meet such wonderful people. No, definitely, man. And let me ask you, because when it comes to the makeup, man, how grueling is putting on the makeup, bro, before the, the show is, bro? Come when it's, when it's, it's time to put makeup on, I mean, how grueling is that for you to sit there and... I wouldn't say grueling. It's, no. No, it's just awesome. I mean, <laughs> when they do the face and the fake teeth and yeah. all that, it, it does take a while, but just where I love it so much, time just passes by so nice. quickly and like, wonderfully. So whenever they do it, I just say, you know what, bring it on. Put, yeah. put, a, yeah. put a mask on my face. You need to... Uh, need to stuff for VFX or CGI or anything like that. So, nope, just say the word, I'm there, right? So, I always say, you know what, just sign me up, suit me up, tell me when and where, I'll be nice. there with bells on. No Dude, problem. that's awesome, man. And of course, I mean, the director's got to love that. Because all this, because especially with the full-on yeah. makeup, the fake teeth, yeah. it does take hours, and especially with the fake hands and oh, nails. Yes. Yes. I mean, afterwards, people will like, okay, you need to see almost every specialist, but a hairstylist. It's like dermatologist. So you might need to see a dermatologist, uh, definitely a manicurist yeah. afterwards. Oh yeah, <laughs> and, no. poss and possibly a dentist or orthodontist, depending on how bad that is. But it's like, but the hair is fine as well. It's like, you know what? It's worth it. I love it so much. Oh, awesome, bro. Like, no, yeah. You see, I started dabbing in indie films myself here locally or here in Texas, man. A few. I'm having fun. You know, I'm, I'm seeing where it goes. But I mean, the, the fact that I see, meet you guys like that, to where you're like, you know what? You enjoy doing what you're doing. It inspires me, so that's cool, man. I'm glad that you're out there having fun, uh, entertaining us, because of course we love what you're doing, so great job. Thank you, yeah. No, I, I can't believe I'm being interviewed for this. This is amazing. No, like, I man. never thought, I I never, I didn't know when I'd even be coming to Texas, let alone yeah. going to Texas for a convention. So. Yeah, of all things, right? Everything happens all at once, man, so that's pretty cool, bro. I know, it's like, okay, that's two things off the bucket list in one trip, <laughs> so there you go. I get to do a convention and I get to see Texas. Man, and I hope, uh, are you guys going to be able to walk, like, yeah. see the city yeah. for a while, or? Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what the plan is from here, okay. but of course, uh, we're here same time tomorrow. Yes, no, and that's what I was going to say. I mean, it is Saturday. You guys are going to be wrapping that up like in two hours or so, but tomorrow everybody will be here, man. So what can people expect, man? I'm going to tag this and put it out there, man. Yeah, no, we're wrapping up soon, yeah. but we're same time tomorrow. I believe it's 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. here, so. Yes. Yeah, and of course, you know, we'll all be here just taking it all in and just loving every minute of us. No, no, for sure, man. So everybody out there, of course, once again, my man, thank you for this. Everybody, of course, make it out to the Wonderland of the Americas here in San Antonio, Texas. Till next time, follow up.